two sides. So there, there's that slight notational thing you'll have to keep in mind. So this is my cell on the group side. And to compute my weak packet, I'm going to look at all cells. C check, such that A, B, C of C is equal to O check C. So I construct these guys by just applying Morgan duality and arriving on the group side. And now from here, you apply a translation functor. to get your pi weak O check C. So the notation is running into trouble. Um, so is it, yeah, to, so is it too late to call the orbits on the dual side check? Oh, the orbits on the dual side are checked, but this guys, I think I, what I want to do is, uh, yeah. this should be, so this, all of this is happening on the dual group, so maybe this is what I could have put. But I think, I think let's, 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 I think this, 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 this. Okay, so in this, in this statement here, the, the associated variety calculation is going on on the dual group. Here. No, no, over here. Over here? Yeah. yeah. No, all of these are now cells. So these are on the group side, so everything over here is on the group side. So I first compute my cells which have complex associated variety O check C. I look at the corresponding dual cells. I, uh, uh, I, and for every representation inside the dual cell, I move it to the infinitesimal factor one half H to get my pi E. So this is a, a, a group representation. So this is G check at uh, gamma equals one half. H. If, if you're taking notes in tech, this is easy to fix. Just do search and replace space by check. <laughs> but I mean, is it is it too confusing? Which is which side is which side is check? So the, this statement here, uh, the, the cell is the cell for G. Okay. Yes. And you're computing associated varieties for G. Okay, so to fix this, what I do is, so this discussion should have been like, if I were to try to find the representations for G check, right? So these guys would be the representations of G check at a given gamma. And here, uh, so when I'm computing representations for G check, I'll be varying over real forms of G. Yeah. So, uh, so all of these guys are represent uh, cells on the dual side. So these are for the dual group. Hmm. And now to come back on the group side, I'm going to do the. So this is where uh, the, the I'll, I'll explain this in the following way. So if I have to. Do this calculation. I'm going to do the following. <coughs> so now I want to understand the representation theory on the group side. Right? So I will fix my group GR. Okay, so now to put this into context and take care of all the checks. So fix your real group GR. Right? So GR, so all the representations at rho are going to be a disjoint union of blocks of G comma real forms of G check, right? So the GI check is a real form of G check C. 
And so the point is, since all of these are disjoint blocks, I can work block at a time. So I look at the block pair G comma GI check. So this is my block of representations, whose uh, I mean, from where I'm going to apply the translation function that I just spoke about. So the first step in this calculation is go to the dual block. Step one, so is go to the dual block. So the dual block is now going to look like GI check G. Correct? And inside this dual block, you make this calculation that I described over here. Yeah? So my dual block is going to be a historic union of cells on the dual side. And now after I have computed AV of this guy here, uh, I mean, I fix this and my dual orbit to C. So the computation is, I will, from here, as a result of this computation, I will get a bunch of cells C, check, which satisfy the following <coughs> property that the complex associated variety of representations in C, CF check, is O check C. Now, go back. This is so there are a bunch of steps here, final, I mean, the ultimate step is applied duality again. To get a bunch of cells C, such that the AVC of the dual cell C is equal to O check C. O C. Dual O check C. No, 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 this is O check C. So, so I'm saying that the complex associated variety of the dual cell of dual cell. Oh, okay. C is O check C. Right? I'm just I'm just restating whatever I just said. Yeah. And now once I have these guys, I apply translation functors to get the unipotent packet. So apply translation functors after to come down to pi. Uh, check C. Yeah? So this is kind of what what I wanted to say here, but now I'm taking care of all the checks. So all the checks are ranked over here. And then to be clear, the only associated variety calculation you're doing is on the dual side. Absolutely. So everything is happening. So all my calculations are happening over here. The only thing that happens over here is a translation functor and I mean, it's not only, it's not trivial, but I mean, it's something that, uh, I mean, yeah, it's not new. Yeah, so you will, so all these cells are at infinitesimal character row. No, actually. Uh, so on row check. Some regular. Oh, uh, some regular, actually. There'll be a row and a two row showing up in some cases, but. Yeah, so this is going to be a bunch of blocks and you just translate them. Right. So the, the important thing to keep in mind is this translation function is going from regular into the group, regular infinitesimal character to singular. So these are and regular. stuff dies. So the stuff that lives is what's... <coughs> so all of these are, and this is my, this lives at uh, singular infinitesimal. Actually, the, the, I mean, you said infinitesimal character row, but that, that was incorrect. It, it was some infinitesimal character that was forced on you by the dual group. And, and then it could happen that this translation functor at the last step doesn't exist. Absolutely. And, and so that you don't find any representations. Absolutely. Um, and in fact, when G is SO, so if G is equal to SO, I mean, 3, 2, for example, I mean, uh, the corresponding, so cell corresponding to the trivial uh, orbit over here, which is going to 1, 1, 1, 1. So this cell goes to the uh, discrete series in the trivial orbit, which cannot be moved down to zero. And that's exactly the problem. 
Absolutely. Yeah. So, so the I'm sorry. associated variety of the dual set is not the dual orbit? It is. But we're, that's not uh, relevant to the uh, set that we're trying to compute, right? So, oh, have I erased? Oh, I should have moved to another board. But, I mean, the weak packet is defined over here, right? You don't, you don't, uh, the statement is not about the associated variety of the uh, representation, it's about the dual representation. Okay, so I have about 30 minutes, so I'll just. Uh, so this is something that we already know. There is a added component. So what we can now do is try computing the actual honest Arthur packets. And that requires this theorem from ABB, which I can use this code. So from ABB, so I won't, uh, so if, so G, so if I could, uh, so in the uh, phrasing of Atlas, uh, it says the following, that unipotent packets, so fix a complex orbit G check C. So G of R is a real reductive group, so this is fixed. So unipotent packets for uh, that are supported on the geometric space O check I. I mean, so rephrasing this, I just want to state it in the Atlas setup. So my set, so the unipotent Arthur the parameters. So I'll, I'll, I'll work this out in two examples at least so that you can see what these are. Corresponding to my orbit O, R in bijection, with a theta stable. So my real form is going to come with a Cartan involution. So I will fix also a Cartan involution theta on the group side. And since we are in the atlas picture, and I'm working one dual real form at a time, I'm going to fix a Cartan involution check on the dual side. So these unipotent parameters are in bijection with theta check stable uh, parabolic subgroups. Uh, and since we are here, let's assume that O check C is even at this point because that's what I'm going to use. Subgroups of uh, uh, on the dual side, G check, which so uh, uh, that means my data stables if my subgroup P is of the form Ln, which means it has a Langlands decomposition Ln, and I can write it as small n. N. So it says that data check of P is P. And it has an additional statement which says that if I do, so if my G check was K check direct sum S check, this is the minus one I can space, then if I do N for the parabolic, N intersect S check intersect O check C, this is this has to be not trivial. So this is a condition on data stable parabolics on the dual side. And this guy is in bijection with K orbits of uh, O check C intersect S. Okay? And this via, so this is not stated in the theorem, but it's obvious, is by Sekoguchi, is uh, real orbits corresponding to O check C, real orbits of O check C 
can be stopped. Yeah, so this is going to land the dual of G star, which is going to be G. Okay, so. So, uh, unfortunately, there's uh, some terminology which is slightly confusing here. The word parameter here means Arthur parameter, not group representation yes, parameter. Yes, 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 yes. So, this is an Arthur parameter, which means that, so I call this psi, so this is going to give me a bunch of Arthur pa pa packets by psi, right? And so if I follow through all of these, these are in bijection. And if we have been following the talks over the last week and this week, this is a set that is very amenable to computation in Atlas, right? So again, uh, all that this requires to compute, uh, I mean, what does this set exactly say? The first statement is that you're looking for theta stable parabolics. That's something that you know how to compute. That was exactly an attached stock. And if the second statement says the following. So if I'm in the even case, uh, this is again from uh, Bogan Barbash, is if my orbit O check is even, so by the way, this parabolic is going to be of a certain type, a parabolic of type S and S is uh, roots labeled 0 for the Dinkin diagram of uh, O check of Dinkin diagram. I'm sorry, sir. G, which should be a G check on the right bottom, all the way to the bottom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so by real orbits, I mean. Corresponding to your data check. Sorry? You said real orbits, so real orbits. Oh, yeah, so this is a real orbit corresponding to data. Your notation is it's a real orbit, a real algebra G check? Yeah, so this. Now you have no misprints in mind. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, so, so this is the Dinkin diagram of O check to see. Yeah? So, and, uh, so what is it that, so how can we compute this set in Atlas, right? So this is definitely clear from Anandar's stock. So to do part B, all we need to do is use the following fact from, uh, so this is DB again. So is that if you're looking at the associated variety of an induced representation from P to G of the trivial, so by L answer trivial and so if this is a trivial representation. So if you're inducing the trivial here, then the wavefront set, I mean in this case you'll induce a trivial, but essentially what it says is the associated variety of the representation that you plug in here it's going to be the induced orbit from P to G or L to G of the AB of the trivial, which is the zero orbit here. And now if you are in the even case, this induced orbit is exactly O check C. Yeah? Hmm. Uh, that that, e that oh. first equality is not No, I mean, it, it's, uh, well, well, you write induced, but the only thing that makes sense is, is cohomological yeah, induction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, so maybe. And, so. and, well, so then I'm not sure what you mean by the, the second induction. So the second induction of orbits. So this is uh, so the you induced mean? orbit from L to G of the corresponding trivial orbit O, the zero orbit on L. I think you're missing an associated variety someplace. 
Yeah. Oh. Two things on the left and right side. I'm oh, sorry. And what, what does this induction from L to G mean? So this is, uh, uh, so you write, so complete this to be a parabolic, right? So this is just going to be N dot the trivial <coughs> uh, So This isn't true. So P is equal to L plus N. Isn't this P? No, no, I mean, this isn't close. It's sort of cool. No, no, I, I mean, it's just wrong. I, I mean, this would be true for real parabolic induction, but it's completely not true for theta stable parabolic induction. No, it's not true, but it's somehow not what you need. Uh, I mean, if you take some random even orbit and take G check to be compact, you, you can perfectly well make a theta stable parabolic corresponding to the Jacobson Morozov thing. And when you do this cohomological induction, you'll get the trivial representation of your compact group whose associated variety is just zero. Yeah, but it's not the full. It's not, sorry? Yes, it, I, mean, it's, I mean, if you start with a trivial, yeah, it's not the principal orbit that's, so that that's the contradiction that we have in here, right? Right, I mean the... Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm not sure uh, how to fix this way. But you were showing things in the software that made it sound like you had dealt with this. Uh, I, I mean, not just claim to, but but you actually had. So so I'm I'm not clear what. Somehow there's a duel here. I'm, 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 I'm not sure. So with this condition not uh, tell me something about the associated variety of uh, the representation induced from this yeah, so parabolic. That's all, yeah, so that's all the dual side. Yeah, so, yeah, so this is everything, so all these are dual, so, I mean, so, oh, so everything is, so this is a dual group, so this no. is, yes. Yeah, no, I understand. Okay. Um, so this is, again, G check. Yeah. This thing. Um, but I, I, I'm not, I don't see it. Sorry. The software works, and so that's. Yeah, that, that's. <laughs> it, it, it's better that, you know, I mean, to have software that works that's and you can't quite explain the mathematics than to be able to explain the mathematics, but the software so, doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. Go, go ahead. We'll, 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 it out this evening. Okay. Yeah, I think this is so the point was that from Peter's talk, uh, what the way it works is I get a, uh, a bunch of data stable parabolic subgroups. Uh, so to classify the real orbits, I will get up uh, so I use this data stable parabolics to compute my data stable parabolic p, and then I use the uh, use this condition to pin it down to one of the real orbits. So if that is, so that's something that I guess I need to understand what exactly is going on there. But right, show, show that's the examples. that's the thing that. I, okay, so that said. So, I mean, 
I can do. So using this, so if, if you kind of vary one dimensional some the parabolic uh, subgroup there and induce the real associated variety remains constant. Uh, which By the way, could, could you type command shift plus? Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, what I want to do now is uh, let's go to the uh, so what was G? It's G equals S L U R. And now I try to compute the unipotent uh, information of G, uh, which kind of now identifies the real orbits corresponding so it so after computing my cells with a given complex orbit it's now going to look at a further uh, uh, bunch of cells which have a, a given real orbit so uh, 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 let's, let's look at uh, let's say g is equal to sl to R, we are trying to compute the important R of packets for this. G check C is going to be PGL to C or PSL to C. Yeah. So now your O checks can be either the trivial orbit or uh, the orbit 2 2. So, what are the real forms of uh, uh, real orbits corresponding to 2 2 in the uh, uh, intersect with PSL? So, the real forms of these guys, this is PSU 2 0 and PSL 2 1. Right. So to compute unipotent Arthur packets, I want to identify real orbits of this complex dual orbit. So if my group was if if so in SL two C, what are my uh, uh, orbits? So there is the zero orbit and there is the principal orbit. Right in SL two R, the zero orbits, so the real orbits stay as they are, and the principal orbit now decomposes into two parts. Sorry, and this is irrelevant to the example. Yeah, so I'm I'm just doing it uh, because I'll also do the other direction. When G is equal to PGI, PSL two R. Yeah, and now if I'm doing PSL to R, so my nilpotent orbits, real nilpotent orbits over here are 0, 0, 0, 0. And in PSL to R, these two guys are con conjugate. So the other orbit is 0, 0. Yeah, and uh, if I uh, in SU2, so there is the so the principal orbit does not intersect the compact form, so the zero orbit is the only orbit that corresponds to the compact form. So if if we try to understand the output here, so in SL two R, so if G is SL two R, uh, there'll be the orbit one one is going to uh, correspond to both the blocks because it appears intersects with SL2, I mean PSL2R, and it also intersects with PSU2. So I'm going to get two orbits corresponding to this representation, I mean, uh, corresponding to the complex important orbit 1, 1. And these are the two orbits that, I mean, two unipotent packets that you have. So the first packet corresponding to 1, 1 contains the <coughs> The Redisable principle series at zero, and uh, this uh, the second packet contains the two limits of this discrete series. 
So this is the factor coming from the block of the trivial representation. You look at the uh, two the discrete series and translate them to zero, and that is the one coming from the irreducible principle series that sits by itself. And corresponding to the uh, so as I explained over here, there is only one real orbit for this guy, which means there's going to be only one packet corresponding to two, which is which is here. So this is the trivial representation of SI to R, and as you can see, the dual. Uh, so there is no uh, real form in uh, SU, KSU two. So I can do the same thing now with G equals PGL to R, and it does the same computation. And now you notice that corresponding to the principal orbit, I'm going to have two real forms uh, uh, in the uh, in SL to R, and uh, so the trivial orbit does intersect SL to R, but there is no representation in SU2. That's what... Uh, Use the pointer. Sorry. So, do I need to switch it on or something? No, you, you, yeah. The round button in the middle? No, no, at the, the, the front. You just, I just saw that on the wall. Oh, yeah, oh, this one. It's not the round button. It's this, it's the... Okay, so here. So, as you can see, okay, so this is the trivial orbit, G is as PGI to R, and uh, uh -huh. this is the uh, uh, principal series. So, the, this is a small thing that we need to work out, it is there are two strong real forms over here, so the trivial orbit when G is equal to PGL to R. So, so I just showed you G equals SL to R. So G equals PGL to R. Uh, so 1, 1 corresponds to SU 2, 0 and SU 0, 2. So because uh, it's uh, you, you don't have strong real forms in Atlas yet, you only get SU20. So uh, the other unipotent packet corresponding to 1, 1 is, uh, is lambda replaced by 1, half. Yeah? And uh, you notice that there are, uh, so the uh, principal orbit does not intersect the compact real form of the dual group. So responding to the and there are no uh, parameters corresponding to the uh, uh, trivial orbit in uh, the big block. Yeah? So this is what Google uh, uh, was pointing out earlier. And here, uh, uh, the principal orbit does not intersect uh, 